In this presentation, we're going to look at continuous random variables, okay? So it doesn't actually explicitly state it as a continuous random variable, but hopefully you'll sort of see that. A uh, random variable x, can, which can be used in certain circumstances as a model for claim sizes, has a cumulative distribution function, f of x equals 0, where x is less than 0, or 1 minus 2 over x plus 2 over uh, 2 plus x to the power of 3, that fraction is the power of 3, where x is greater than 0. Calculate the, the value of the conditional probability, probability of x greater than 3, where given that the probability of, of x is greater than 1. So just actually, just to sort of use what we're told here. So we're told that we have the cumulative distribution function, okay? And in that case, we have x is less than or equal to small x, where x small x is some particular observation. Capital X is the variable name, okay? Now this is the complement of what we're looking for here. So we have two component parts here, probability of x greater than 3 and the probability of x greater than 1, okay? And essentially that is the complement expression of the cumulative distribution function where small x is either 3 or 1 okay now just as a remark the equality this is a continuous random variable so the equality component is not usually important you do have a little bit of freedom with that because no uh, for continuous random variables the equality component is assumed to be equal to zero so it's not particularly important okay so Let's sort of work it out. What we have here is the probability of x greater than x, sorry, that should be a 3 there, okay, is 2 over 2 plus x to be cubed, where x is greater than 0, okay. Our two observations are greater than 0. Are they greater than 0? Yes, they're both greater than 0 in this case. So essentially, this is checked. So essentially, what we can do is use this here. Okay, ultimately we've broken the back of the question. Okay, we've really sort of made the, the most of it there. Okay, so uh, let's just evaluate it. Okay, for x, sorry, that should be x, uh, loads of typos here. x greater than 3 can be evaluated as 2 over 5 to the power of 3. x greater than 1 can be evaluated as 2 over 3 to the power of 3. Okay, and so essentially what we have here is the conditional probability formula okay and there's nothing here that you should not be already familiar with okay so just sort of setting up uh, setting it up into two components there probability of x greater than 3 given the probability of x greater than 1 that can be uh, expressed as the probability of x greater than 3 and the probability of x greater than 1 divided by the probability of x greater than 1 okay now, this is an important thing you have to realize here. What is the intersection of probability of x greater than 3 and x greater than 1? Probability of x greater than 3 is a subset of probability of x greater than 1. So essentially, this expression simplifies, okay? This expression simplifies to that. If you're not... Don't trust me in that. Try it out with Venn diagrams, a little sort of test with Venn diagrams, a little graphical test, and that would sort of reconcile that very quickly. But essentially, as a subset and the set is a subset of, the intersection of that is just a subset. So essentially what we have here is probability of x greater than 3 divided by the probability of x greater than 1. So we have 2 over 5 to the power of 3 divided by 2 over 3 to the power of 3. Working that out, we have a little bit of arithmetic. Uh, you can actually work it out directly from here. But if you're a little bit quick with the men uh, mental arithmetic, you might sort of see that that is equal to 3 over 5 to the power of 3. And working that out, we shall get an answer of 0 0.216. So that's it there. That's our question done. Okay, so that's a little conditional probability uh, question related to continuous random variables. So we leave it there.